Let's start on example 3 with this point 2 comma 5 pi 6. If I take this point, I can actually graph this point on Desmos. So as you can see, here's Desmos. There's 2 comma 5 pi 6 has a radius of 2, and it's 5 pi 6 is the angle out. However, I can take this polar coordinate, 2 comma 5 pi 6, and I can change it to the Cartesian grid, where I can now graph this as x comma y to get up to this point. Notice it's the exact same point, I'm just graphing it on a different grid. So in this next video, we're going to talk about converting between the two. So I'm going to change this r comma theta point into an x comma y point. It's the same point, it's in the same place, I'm just graphing it on a different grid. So, how we, do we do that? Let's look at this right here. Here I have a polar coordinate point, r comma theta, and if I want to find the x and the y, hey look at that, it's just a right triangle. That's so Katoa, I can do things like that. So if I wanted to find the x value, I know that the x is the adjacent side, so that's going to be cosine. So I could say cosine of theta equals the x side over the r side. And this time, I want to find x. So I'm going to multiply both sides by r to solve for x. So I can find this x-coordinate by doing r times the cosine of theta. Now I can do the same thing for the y coordinate. y is sine, so I have sine of theta equals y over r times both sides by r. So you get the y value is r sine of theta. So if I have r comma theta, I can do r cosine of theta to find the x value, and r sine of theta to find the y value. And that should give me an x comma y point that is the exact same point, just graphed as x comma y instead of r comma theta. So let's try that over here on this first example. I have here an r and a theta. So to find the x value of this point, I'm going to do r cosine of theta, which I know that cosine of 5 pi 6 is just negative root 3 over 2. That's just a unit circle point. And if I multiply those together, I have a 2 on top and bottom that cancels to give me that the x value is negative root 3. Now let's find the y value. y is r sine of theta, and I know that sine of theta from the unit circle is, oh hello, lost my train of thought, 1 half, 2 times 1 half just gives me 1. So this r comma theta point is going to be the exact same point as negative root 3 comma 1. That's x comma y. So negative root 3 comma 1 will plot as the exact same point as 2 comma 5 pi 6. We're just graphing it in the Cartesian plane instead of in the polar plane. So now that we've tried one, it's your turn. Now I'm going to get you started on this one a little bit because this one has a negative r. We don't want the negative r version, we want the positive r version. So let's graph this really quickly. If I have a radius of 4 and a theta of 4 pi thirds. So let's see, 4 pi thirds takes me to there, but because it's a negative radius, I go across the circle, 
and it's really going to be plotted right there. So I'm going to put or we could say this is a positive 4 radius and the angle is right here at pi thirds. Same point but with a positive radius instead of a ne negative radius. We want that, excuse me, that positive radius for when we put it into our equations. We want to put in the positive radius into our equation. So anytime you have a negative radius, change it into the positive radius point. Same point, just written with a positive radius. So now that I've helped you rewrite it, I would like you to pause the video, use your x and y equations to come up with the Cartesian plane point, the x comma y point, that is the exact same as this one, but in x comma y form instead. So pause the video, try that part out on your own, and then come back to check your work. By the way, this is a unit circle problem. You shouldn't touch your calculator. Use what you know of the unit circle to try this instead. Let's check your work. So for the x value, we have 4 cosine pi thirds, our cosine theta. For the y value, we have 4 sine pi thirds, our sine theta. Cosine of pi thirds is 1 half from the unit circle. 4 times 1 half is 2. Sine of pi thirds is root 3 over 2 from the unit circle. 4 times root 3 over 2 is 2 root 3. So that makes our x comma y point 2 comma 2 root 3. So if I go over 2, up 2 root 3, that is the exact same point, just on x comma y grid instead of r comma theta grid. Now, let's go the other direction. So now I'm giving you an x comma y point, and I want you to find r comma theta. So let's talk about how we go backwards. Let's graph this first. x comma y. So this is graphed right here. And remember, we can make a right triangle out of this point, where the x side is 3 in this case, and the y side is negative 3. So when we write it like this, it's not too hard to find r and theta. To find r, we just use Pythagorean's theorem. Let's talk about how to find theta first, though. That one's a little trickier. If I wanted to find theta, that is this angle, I need to use some SOHCAHTOA stuff here. Well, if you notice, I've been given the x and the y point. The trig function that uses x and y is tangent. So I could write tangent of theta equals the y value over the x value that I know. So in this case, and oh, and then we can just do arctan to solve for theta. So theta equals arctan of negative 1, which, hey, that is a unit circle tangent value. Arctan of negative 1, negative 1 is our fourths. So if I'm in the fourth quadrant, that should give me 7 pi fourths. So that tells me my theta is going to be 7 pi fourths. So that's your shortcut for theta. So to find your theta, you're going to do arctan of y over That's how you find your theta equation from x and y. And we know how to find r. That's just Pythagorean's theorem. So in this case, I could say r squared equals the x value squared plus the y value squared. And if I solve this for r, I just have to square root both sides. And that gives me an equation for r.
So in this case, let's plug in our x and y numbers. We have that x was 3 and y was negative 3. So that gives me r is the square root of 9 plus 9, which is the square root of 18. So if I wanted to write this point as a polar coordinate, r comma theta, r is square root of 18, theta is 7 pi fourths. So this r comma theta point, let me write up above r comma theta. This is the exact same point as three comma negative three. We're just graphing it in the r comma theta plane instead of the x comma y plane, and that gives you all the most important equations you need to know for this lesson. X is r cosine theta, y is r sine theta, theta is arc tan of y over x r is square root of x squared plus y squared. And that's how you can convert back and forth between the two, either direction, vice versa. So now that we've tried one together, I want you to try this last one for this video. We have over here at negative 6, comma, negative 2 root 3. So there's our point. I want you to find r and theta using the equations we came up with before, and then come back to check your work. Once again, just so you know, this should turn out to be a unit circle tangent value, just like we had up here, so you can think of your unit circle tangent values to solve. Don't use a calculator. So pause the video, try going this direction, try this problem out on your own, and then come back to check your work. Let's check your work. So I drew my triangle out here and I found theta first. Notice if you try to sketch your triangle accurately, that should help you with your unit circle thetas. So here I ended up with arc tan of one over root three. Well, I really ended up with root three over three, which is the same thing as one over root three. And that gives me that this is a sixth radian. And since it's in the third quadrant, that gives me 7 pi 6. Now, one little word of warning. If you had just typed this into your calculator, it would have given you pi 6. Because remember, your calculator is programmed to give you quadrant 1 and negative quadrant 4. This is why I said don't use a calculator on this problem. You want to think instead of the unit circle so that you get the quadrant right from graphing the point. We know that this point is in the third quadrant, so that's 7 pi 6, not pi 6. Then r is much easier, plugged in x squared plus y squared, got square root of 48. So there's my answer, which is this same point just graphed as r comma theta instead of x comma y. So that is all we've got for this video, converting back and forth between polar coordinates and Cartesian coordinates. In the next video, instead of converting points, we're going to talk about converting equations.